trace me new life did he give each of my heart does my savior now live his love and the trace me new life did he give each of my heart does my savior now live his love and the trace me new life did he give each of my heart does my savior now live his love and the trace me new life Aloha, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is Pastor Terry from Kona Faith Center, and I'm going to be interviewing my friend Trish, and she'll tell you about her and her life and things that are going on, and I'm looking very forward to it. We sure would appreciate that thumbs up, so like us and hit the little bell if it's there on your screen so you could get notified every time Kona Faith Center has something going on online and we have things going on all week yes. long. If you live in the Kailua Kona area, Kona side anywhere, please come up and join us. We have services and they're live and they get recorded also. And they're live on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. and Wednesday evening at seven. And if you live in the area, we would just really like to meet you. And if you're looking for a good spirit-filled Bible teaching church, we're it. Yeah. Yes, I'm prejudiced, but Amen. I would be staying here if I didn't agree with it. So thank you so much for joining. And if you're watching and you live far away, please share our videos with other people and be sure to go to the website and see all that's going on. God bless you. I'm going to get started with Trish now. Amen. Hey there, sis. Hey, sis. I'd like to know a little bit about yourself, not that I don't know, but our audience doesn't know. Well, my name is Patricia, but I go by Trish because my big sister, who I adore, told me it's a cooler name. <laughs> so I go by Trish. Plus, my last name was very long Italian name, like longer than spaghetti. So it made it easier to read on the computer transcripts. That said, I was born in Colorado, raised by a wonderful mom and dad, grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-aunts, wow. huge family, a la familia, big Italian family. And I was broken in California, and I was grown up again in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, but I was born again on the big island of Hawaii. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm seven years old. The camera is lying if it says I'm older. <laughs> and I've been walking with Jesus behind him, letting him lead my life for seven years. I was always, I always knew who he was. I knew he was the truth, the way. But I was worldly. And worldly people typically like to do what they want to do, not what God wants you to do. And so that was really the breaking point was here on the island. I lost everything that was important to me. My children were broken. I was broken. My relationship was broken. Our business that we had, which was such a blessing, was falling apart. Uh, relationships with my family were broken. Everything was just a complete pile of mess. I went down the mountain that we live on. We live on the highway with the Ohana Warehouse store. And I fell to my face, literally, on the rock that is this mountain. And I asked the Lord, fix me. I screwed everything up. I don't know what I'm doing. And guess what? He heard my prayer. He heard your prayer. He, he answered, answered my you. prayer. Well, I'm going to ask another question then. How about a good testimony for these wonderful people watching us? Well, the best thing I can tell you is when God breaks you, he makes you again. And the best thing that happened with my experience of being broken is that all my relationships repaired better than I would have ever understood. My sister's my best friend again. My family and I are tight again. My kids came home, meaning they came to Kona. They left their cities of decadence, if you will, and came back, and we all became a family again. Slow moving, but the best part of the story is Kona Faith Center helped glue 
the family together. God wanted us at this church, and when we stepped through the doors one at a time for sure, that's where we found loving, healing, caring, kind, compassionate people who were just like us, broken at some level, somewhere along the way, and yet we have that common denominator, which is Jesus Christ, our Savior, and he fixes all things, and through him, we can be redeemed. And that was the best part for me, was knowing that I didn't have to hold on to any of my past experiences, uh, whatever they were, worldly. Let's all face it. Living in the world is not living for God or with God. And so when we come out of that, we're scared. We are babies. We're crawling babies in diapers, wet diapers. And all of a sudden we realize we need something more than what we've always leaned on. And for me, it was the Bible, the word, the bread that is daily. And then to find a church that read the Bible, that uses the word of God, not man's interpretation thereof, but truly uses the word of God, we realize, wow, this is home. This is home. And I can say that walking through the door the first time at Kona Faith, I was very hesitant. In fact, I was in pensive silence most of the morning when Chris said, we're going this week because our daughter had come our son, and our daughter-in-law was driving our daughter. And then I told my son, you better go check them out. Your wife and your sister are there. And of course he did. He's a good son. And then he came and gave us a good two hour talking to. <laughs> And Chris and I said, all right, fine, we'll go. Because we had church shopped before. We'd been to several churches on the island. But nothing felt like home. There's a sense of security when you're around other people that have been through things and understand that and aren't going to question you, just going to accept you with those loving arms. And that's what this church is. We just kind of checked it out the first year. And then we started getting involved because the people... You have the true aloha face of a BJ. You have the sweet smiling of a Sandy. You have the calmness of a Whitney. You have the grace of an Epo. You have sister staff over here and brother Rod who <laughs> keep you in line. You have the men that truly love the word of God and aren't afraid to share that with others. You have the young women who are Titus women, the young men who are Titus men. Yes. You have a community that literally builds upon each other, and each piece is the body of Christ. And that is the scripture, and it felt like home. So we never looked back. We, we actually would be more involved if we weren't involved in our business so much. But we do, it, it, it led us to a place of, you know what, we're gonna close the store early and all come to church together on Sunday. So we really, it transformed our life to come here and be a part of this community. And we ask people all the time that anyone that's in our store, that shops know that we are with Christ. And we tell them when they ask, where do you go to church? Kona Faith Center. And it's a, it's a place where you can be received. It's just that place. And it just gives you that fullness and that wholeness that most of us seek. Although we don't admit it out loud, that's what we're looking for. Yes. Yes, it's true. So you're quite a witness at your store, from my understanding, that you have Christian music playing yes, and you've given Bibles to people. Yes. And talk about that. Just talk about the experience of that as a store owner and as a believer, what that, what that does, what, what that looks like. It's a beautiful thing to have people ask you, you know, when we read in Matthew, we're to be salt and light. What does that look like? You know, the best thing is to stand and hold your ground and speak for the Lord and say good morning and mean it. And say, how are you? And mean it. And what how it started in the beginning was just giving, we gave video DVDs of The Chosen, not to plug The Chosen, but hey. Uh, and then we gave DVDs of kids' Bible stories. We started giving Bibles. 
Then we started getting discounts because companies we work with, we told them we're giving away Bibles when people ask. Uh, we started, we have a broad Hispanic base, so we also have a lot of Bibles in Spanish. Uh, we have tracks that are on the counter, Bible tracks that we hand out and share. Um, I've been known to stuff them in cases of beer, just saying, guilty, that's me. <laughs> um, and I also love to talk to people when they ask. You know, being, it's very easy to beat the Bible over someone's head because you're so excited. You want to tell everyone you know. And for me, the conviction is, how bad do you not like mankind if you don't share Jesus? Because that's why we're here. We were born to worship him, and we were born to share the good news. And that, to me, is a mission. It didn't become about the store anymore. It became, how do I share the good news while I'm ringing up their beer? <laughs> and it's tricky, but you always know. And the best part is people come in now and ask for prayer. We have a sign that says, if you need prayer, ask. We also, on the back of the sign, says, love your neighbor. The Ten Commandments are hanging in our store. We, we really do practice what we preach. And at any given time, any of us can have a bad day and fall short. But to know that you have people that love you, that can lift you up, that can pray for you, pray over you, and edify you in God's word, that's the most satisfying thing that can come of a day. And so for me, personally, that is what I enjoy doing at the store. I would have never thought that was my role. But now I see through God's grace, that is what I'm supposed to do, that I'm supposed to tell people about the Lord. And that means all people, all the time, no matter what. There is nobody that God, Jesus came for all. And all means all. So it took me a while to get there because I was like, well, not him because he did whatever and not her because she's acting this way. But that's wrong. And God's always quick to be that loving father and gently correcting us, like it says in Hebrews. Amen. Amen. And so that's what I look forward to now. The people that I was skeptical, would they receive the word? It's always shocking. Those are the people that are seeking the word. Yes. Yes. So it's a wonderful thing. And the best part is we just had a story the other day where one of the churchgoers went to a I want to say auto parts store, and was asking the guy if, where he went to church. And he said, well, he doesn't now, but if he ever does go to church, he's going to go to Kona Faith Center because the people at Ohana Warehouse, that's where they go, and they are living proof that God is God. Which that's was awesome. Such a, that was like, huh, that was literally just yesterday. So to me, that is the proof that if you need proof, if you need a sign or a wonder, let the, let the community tell you. They will tell you the truth. You know, God is so good. And he, I'm sure when you guys purchased and decided to do a store, that was not the first thing on your mind was no. to be people that are going to witness for Jesus. Not even. <laughs> and even through the last few years, there was a lot of stuff going on in the family. Yes. That and is you correct. guys had to work out. They all live under the same roof. They work under the same roof. So it's challenging. You know, it's challenging. Mm -hmm. But they're all serving the Lord. They all love the Lord. It's such an awesome thing. And when they bring people, family comes, they bring people to church. And it's just been an explosion. Yes. In their family. And it has affected all of the people at Kona Faith Center. I don't know if you know that. Oh, I don't. Well, that's but a it's blessing, certainly too. certainly affected God's us. God's blessings and are showered on us all the time, aren't yes, they? Yes, yes, they are. And we just love this family, and we're so grateful that they're here and that they are part of our Ohana Amen. at Kona Faith Center, and they carry that forth at Ohana Warehouse. So when you're driving by, it's kind of Honau Now area, a little bit past Captain Cook, and be sure and stop because oh, people. if you need prayer, someone will stop and yes, pray. Yes, absolutely. But if you need a church, and everybody needs a church, how long was it since you had gone to church? Well, it would probably, I would say 15 years. 
Hear that, people? So you can find a place, and God's got a place for you right here. And the Holy Spirit plugs people into where they're supposed that to be. That is correct. So if you're not supposed to be here, he'll tell you. Amen. And we want you to be where you're supposed to be. We're not looking at people as numbers. We're looking at people as brothers and sisters in the kingdom of God. So if you drive by and just think, you know, I ought to give it a shot, like that person that said that they would come here if they went to church, stop by. You could visit your friends from Ohana Warehouse, and you could get to know us. Thank you so much for watching today. We just extend our hearts to you, our love to you, and invite you to Kona Faith Center and Captain Cook. Mahalo. Amen. Thank you. You alone, Lord, made me a brand new creation. It is only by your spirit.